their worst is still to come. Hurricane Matthew pummels Florida coast with 100 miles per hour air winds and flash floods as more than 800,000 lose power. Hurricane Matthew is currently 40 miles east southeast of St. Augustine and 60 southeast of Jacksonville. It has pummeled Florida since early Friday with heavy rain and strong winds. Downgraded from a category 4 to 3, but that only means a reduction of winds from 130 miles per hour to 120 miles per hour. Powerful storm claimed at least 842 lives in Haiti alone after it ripped through the Caribbean. A woman in her late 50s died in St. Lucie, Florida, after she suffered a heart attack. Orlando's world-famous theme parks, Walt Disney World, Universal Studios and SeaWorld, all closed. President Barack Obama has warned it is still a dangerous hurricane, especially for Jacksonville. Could bring a storm surge of up to 11 feet in some areas and drop up to 14 inches on the Carolinas. Heavy rainfall could trigger major flooding in Jacksonville, Georgia, and South Carolina. South Carolina Gulf. Haley has warned residents of Tiny Island Dorfers Key it is going to be underwater. Hurricane warning has also been extended to North Carolina. Governor Rick Scott of Florida says about 800,000 have been left without power, millions more could suffer. Despite the dire warnings, many brave, or stupid, people opted to stay behind and party. Millions of Americans have been warned that the worst effects are still likely to come in the form of heavy flash floods as Hurricane Matthew moves up the east coast of Florida, bringing with it 100 miles per hour air winds and storm surges. At 2 p.m., Matthew was currently 40 miles east southeast of St. Augustine and 60 southeast of Jacksonville Beach, moving up the coast at 12 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. While there are signs that a direct hit with land will be avoided, officials are particularly concerned about low-lying areas in Jacksonville, which could be hit by heavy flooding. A flash flood warning has been issued until 6.15 p.m. There are also concerns that heavy Georgia and South Carolina could be hit by heavy flooding, while the hurricane warning has been extended as far as Surf City, North Carolina. The U.S. National Guard has said it expects widespread flooding, rather than wind damage, to be more likely as the storm moves further north. Some 800,000 households have been left without power, while 22,000 people are in shelters. Governor Rick Scott also said all interstates in Florida would remain open without tolls. The storm is only halfway through our state, so we are not through this yet, he warned. We are very concerned about storm surge and the worst effects are still likely to come. He added, while the storm is still on, don't go outside. The storm has claimed more than 840 victims in the Caribbean, while in the U.S. at least one person died. A woman aged in her late 50s died overnight after she suffered a heart attack not longer after the St. Lucie Fire Department stopped responding to emergency calls due to wind gusts. In St. Augustine, about 20 people, including children, are trapped at a bed and breakfast although men and Nancy Shaver told CNN that they are not guests of the inn and apparently young people who have chosen to stay there. Guth Scott urged people to take care of themselves. I can't send in first responders to save you in the middle of the storm, he told CBS this morning. I don't want one life lost. I love my children, my grandchildren and I don't want anything to happen to them. I don't want anything to happen to anybody in this country. President Obama said that despite the fact Central and South Florida was not as seriously damaged as feared, Matthew remains a dangerous hurricane. The big concern is the effect it could have in areas like Jacksonville and on through Georgia, he said in the Oval Office. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.